are brothers of the sword. I'd rather fight beside you than any army of thousands. Let no man forget how menacing we are. We are lions. Look. There are some life choices that you really shouldn't be allowed to come back from. It is what it is. Sucks, but hey, it was a call that you made of your own free will and own volition. And shit, like, you know, when you murder somebody, when you denounce your citizenship and go and have a whole bunch of terrorist babies. I mean, it's like, hey, 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 you made that call. You made that call. This is coming to us from the New York Post. Isis Bride says she'll regret leaving U.S. for terror group for the rest of my life. This is written by Tamar Lappin. Isis Bride, Huda Mahatne, Muhana, Muhana, is seen in a promotional photo for Alba Sorota's Kula's upcoming documentary, The Return, Life After Isis. Okay. Isis Bride, Huda Mutuna who fled Alabama to join ISIS in 2014 and is now barred from returning to the U.S., said she will regret the decision for the rest of my life, according to a report on Wednesday. Mahuna, 26, tried to explain what led to becoming a part of the terror group in the new documentary, The Return, Life After ISIS, by Spanish filmmaker Alba Sotora Kula, people reported. When you are brainwashed, you don't realize it until you snap out of it, Mahutna said. I took everything too fast and too deep. <laughs> yeah, clearly. What she experienced was this horrible way of life that I really regret for the rest of my life and that I wish I could just erase. But you can't, she says in the film, according to people. That's the thing, though. You know, it's just like, like it really is no different than having a child, whether no matter what, uh, you know, like our culture... No matter what our culture, you know, uh, tries to make you think or believe it it is the chain. It is an anchor. It is a it's supposedly a a changing point. You are forever changed um, due to that um, due to that experience, Uh, be it male or female, female, just a lot more prominently. So, you know, when you when you decide that I'm going to leave the country and go and and be a, a bride for a terrorist group. I mean, sweetheart. What? <laughs> like, not to laugh or anything else like that, but this is like, it's like, yo, you were making a a, a, a decision that was bad, well, that was bound to have a long lasting effect, and it's one of the reasons I'm always telling you boys, hey, patience, because. Yeah, you know, just things ain't always what they seem. And if you give it just a little bit of time, you'll find out information that, oh, you'll wish you had uh, later on. Mutna was 20 and a college student in Hoover, Alabama, when she ran away to join the Islamic State in Syria. The shelter, she was 20, okay, 20 years old. So it's not like you were even like in your teens anymore. So we are like, this was your call. The sheltered daughter of Yemeni immigrants, Muhunna said her plan, her path to the terror group began when she tried to connect online with other Muslim people. I didn't have much friends in high school and was extremely shy, painfully shy. She allowed, she allowed to hang out, she wasn't allowed to hang out with friends. I was wasn't allowed to go anywhere, not even to the mall. And she was cute, though. I grew up as an American, born and raised in America, and all I had waiting for me in my future was an arranged marriage, the exact way my parents wanted it to be, Mahutna said. So I had no time to dream about anything. But that's the thing. You're an American. You grew up in America. Yeah, you had an arranged marriage. And guess what? You can divorce him and take all of his shit when everything's uh, when all said and done. Like you could have the babies. And you you could have been living on Easy Street. Like what? What? Hell no! Like yo, you really threw you really threw away your golden ticket to go what? Go? Oh my goodness! Oh wow! Talk about th- this is a, a gigantic L on your part, sweetheart. Mahuna also said that she didn't have a good relationship with her mother and that I thought I could improve it by being more religious because she was very religious. So religious that you're going to go and bang jihadists. Okay, sweetie. Okay. I'm sorry. Like, yo, she had a golden ticket. Did she or did she not? 
Did she audition? In America, you had an arranged marriage. So what if you don't like to do? Like, yo, you in, in, in 10, 15 years, you can sit there, you can have the kids, and you can you can sit there and divorce them, take half of his shit. You sitting there on Easy Street, alimony out your ass for the rest of your life. You balling, going to different lakes and banging all different dudes and shit. But no, no. You want to sit there and go, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, you, yeah, you brilliant. You, you so smart. You smart so good. And as far as the bad relationship with your mother's situation, well, that is biology, right or wrong, right or wrong. Like, I mean, moms and daughters, fathers and sons, like there are certain biological ticks that had we as a culture and a nation uh, spent the past, you know, 50, 40, 50 years um, really, you know what I'm saying, making sure that we understood and, you know what I'm saying, like having families build upon their families and and encouraging um, the, uh, the collection of the, fa- the, 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 keeping the family unit together. I put it to you like that. How we, how we culturally and legislatively, uh, driven, been driven towards, uh, keeping the family unit together. Then guess what? Yeah, it wouldn't have been an issue, but I mean, it is what it is. And sweetheart, you just threw it all the way to, for what? I learned all this all on my own online in Syria. Mohana said she expected to find a happy place with Muslims, helping in hospitals, helping in schools, helping a community out, and just being good, decent Muslims to each other. I'm sorry. Instead, it was a big mess. It was hell on earth. Really? No shit. Oh, golly, yo. After joining ISIS, Mahatna was married to a series of group fighters, the first of whom were killed, and had a son with one of them. She continued to post online, celebrating burning her U.S. passport and calling for attacks on America. Bye. Bye. Sorry. Sorry. Right? Right or wrong? No, no, you don't want to sit here and, 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 and be all excited to murder my countrymen and then expect, oh, yeah, we need to get back in. Like, I'm nah, sweetheart, I'm sorry. Uh-uh. But in 2019, Mahana said she took her now four-year-old son, Adam, and fled ISIS before being captured by Kurdish forces and taken into a refugee camp in northeastern Syria. She begged to come back to the U.S., but under diplomatic law, a judge ruled that New Jersey-born Mahana wasn't... Oh, we are... We, we, we always produce this shit now, don't we? Well, how does Jersey end up in every damn story? <laughs> Jersey always ends up in the damn story. Somehow, some way. Mahatna wasn't an actual citizen. The government said that her passport, revoked under the Obama administration, was issued in error. <clears throat> Since then, her family has continued to fight a legal battle to bring Mahatna home, and her lawyer told people they will take the case all the way to the U.S. Supreme Court, and when they see that video of you of you sitting there saying, yeah, fuck Americans, uh, kill them all, yeah, that's, uh, that, I'm pretty sure that's going to just be a, a wrap for you, sugar tits, all right, so, you know what, I think we're done here, because I'm not really, yeah, there's only a little bit left in real talk, I mean, cute, I mean, what, what's to be said here, cute, definitely cute, oh, that's, she's not an unattractive chick but the problem is is that you know you uh kind of hate this country and thusly you know like this video you sitting there being all excited about you know americans being killed so um yeah stay where you at it's all good i mean sucks but you know so were your choices and that's the thing some life choices you can't come back from and some you shouldn't be allowed to come back from and sweetheart this is one of those. Sucks. But, hey, that's the luck. That's the luck of Adam, too. All right? I mean, sucks he doesn't, you know what I'm saying? He probably has a parent. He probably has a father. Let's be real. I mean, you think that she wants to eat? She's single? I don't know. Yeah, it's some dude clapping them cheeks. I'm probably going to give her another one. So, you know what I'm saying? Best of luck. Best of luck to, you know what I'm saying, you and your family. Uh, But as far as uh, coming back to the States, man, this is, you know, nope. you did everything wrong. You did absolutely everything wrong. Again, honestly, I mean, we just shouldn't even take the chance. I mean, hell, it, like, if, like if Obama said no, then uh, yeah, like did that you didn't even get the Trump. Jeez, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Biden and his folks are still gonna be on some. Yeah, we good shit too. But, or, or you know, I mean, once again, feminism. We do have feminist overlords. Who the hell knows how these things play out? But yeah, as far as my vote. Eh.
So with that being said, we're going to bring this one to an end. All the internet stuff. If you like it, toss it a like, dislike, go ahead, do that too. Don't be scared of you, sub. If you enjoy my fantastic voice, you want to give videos like this every single day. Share it because sharing is caring. And YouTube and bitch, you can like out the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Get something from Teespring. Check me out on Patreon as well. Links in the description. Actually, go into the description box and do damage and speak. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's pretty open and shut when, you know, you're there sitting there, you know, saying really boosting. Americans dying. That's not a. That's not a good look. That's not a very endearing uh, look, sweetheart. And so you know, shit. Stay where you at. Best of luck to you and your boy. But you may disagree. You know, you 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 may have your tampon fully stuffed in right now, and you're like, oh my goodness, no, she has to, she has to come back. I mean, she can offer us so much. Like what? By all means, please let me know what she got to offer. Other than you know, vagina. And um, <laughs> in the comment section, all right? Until the next one. Jimmy, you're thinking with your dick. I am not thinking with my dick. Yes, you are. No, I just think Put that she's, your a, dick away. she's an emotional, Jim. interesting, caring girl. Jimmy, that's your dick talking.